Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is September 18th. Lisa Lydia Scott here with you this morning. Uh, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning right around this time. But of course, it stays on your feed throughout the day so you can watch it whenever it works best for you. And remember, we make it into a podcast every day. You can find that at inform.com slash podcast. Just look for the Inform Minute. Scott wants to talk fantasy football this yeah. morning. Lots of fantasy football. If you're a fantasy football player, usually the waivers process Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So you got to check out who's on your team now and I have absolutely no yeah, idea what you just missed out on right Scott and Dylan over there. Yeah, just... it was, it was a whole thing. Some people will get it. Some people like yeah. don't care. So let's talk weather. File me under don't care. No. Do care about the weather. <laughs> that's, that's what just everybody wants kidding. to talk about. <laughs> to each their own. Um, we've got some scattered thunderstorms out there this morning. Unfortunately, getting some heavy rain in some of those spots. Mm. I picked up a lot of heavy rain earlier this week. Some really saturated grounds, northeastern North Dakota, northwestern Minnesota. And more in line for today, off and on storms possible. Really at any point, you could see a thunderstorm today. Best chance for the stronger to severe storms would be later on, I'd say 5 p.m. and beyond. We'll watch out for one inch hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So kind of your yeah. borderline severe weather, um, garden variety. I don't expect a ton of severe weather, but a warning or two is possible later today. Otherwise warm and muggy, temps near 80, dew points mid 60s, maybe even close to 70 in a couple of spots, and that'll make it feel even hotter, of course. Uh, yesterday, by the way, we topped off at 91 here in Fargo, wow. which was wow. one degree shy of tying the record high for yesterday's date. <clears throat> and then the mid 60s with the dew points made it feel upper 90s. Yeah. It was sweaty. It was, yeah, real It hot. was tough. It was like July. <laughs> you're like, ooh. Yeah. Geez. And you just like don't want to even touch your own body. You're like, ugh. I was going to grill and then I like touch. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. Not gonna Standing by a hot grill no. in hot that. Day. Yeah, no, thank you. Stay in the air conditioning. Uh, today is technically cooler, but it's still going to feel. Everybody's still going to say it's still warm and muggy yeah. outside. Uh, let's see. We still have wind to deal with, too. Out of the south, southeast, about 15 to 30 miles an hour, gusting closer to about that 35 mile per hour range. A few showers continue early tomorrow morning, mainly for areas up north as this area of low pressure kind of moves away from us. I'm just going to keep that chance in, especially up north for tomorrow morning. More sunshine and decreasing humidity tomorrow. Okay, good news. Yeah, so That's great news. <laughs> easier to breathe and just be outside tomorrow. For sure. Uh, temps then in the 70s, chance at a little bit of rain on Friday. I have 60s and a drier looking weekend forecast, kind of fall-like, not too hot, not too cold. 70s for the most part for next week. Cool. Yeah. All right. Sounds kind of great. Some on repeat weather lately this <laughs> week. Yeah. Yeah, Heat, humidity, like wind, and thunderstorms. <laughs> Thank right. you, Lydia. Thanks. Uh, we're tracking breaking news for you this morning. Broke this on First News this morning. A lake is closed off as crews are searching for a missing man today. The White Earth Tribal Police Department has been looking for the past 12 hours. They say a vehicle belonging to 54-year-old Randy Hanks was found at the landing on Lower Rice Lake. The lake is in the northeast part of the White Earth Reservation, about 20 miles south of Bagley. Overnight police announced that that lake is closed until further notice. If you have any information on where he might be, please call police. A motorcycle driver is in the hospital with life-threatening injuries following a head-on collision with a pickup truck. It happened a little after 9.45 on 36th Street North. Uh, last night, uh, the motorcycle crossed over the center line into the oncoming lane, uh, collided with the pickup head-on. Uh, the motorcycle driver we know is a 41-year-old man from Fargo. He flew off the bike, landed in the road. He was taken to Sanford. He's also been charged with a DUI. Uh, the driver of the pickup truck was not hurt. Uh, and we do know right now police are still searching for someone that they at one point set up a massive perimeter hoping to catch. That person is still on the run right now. Police tell WDAY they were called out on a disturbance call in the area uh, right around 8.30 Tuesday night. Specifically, we're talking 9th Avenue South in Fargo. When officers got there, they say their suspect took off running. The perimeter was pretty big. It included the Cass County Courthouse, Island Park, Clara Barton, Hawthorne Elementary School, so not far from where we are right now. Uh -huh. A canine unit was called in. We reached out again this morning uh, to police to find out who they are looking for and why. So stick with us. Uh, we'll have updates for you on this developing story. Uh, starting today, police will start clearing out homeless camps in violation of Fargo's new city ordinance. There's been a lot of talk about this. Uh, those who aren't compliant with the new law could be fined. They could even be arrested. The recently passed camping ban limits where homeless people can stay along the bike path, under bridges, uh, near certain infrastructure like city buildings. Uh, those are areas where signs have now posted, been posted to warn people about the new ordinance. 
Fargo Cass Public Health and the Fargo Police Department have been visiting some of the uh, more known encampment areas uh, since those signs went up, kind of checking out what's going on there. Sounds like most of the people um, have left those areas, but anyone who is in violation of the ordinance uh, could be arrested and uh, those campsites are gonna be cleared out uh, whether they comply or not. Hmm. Whooping cough is on the rise in Cass County. Fargo Cass Public Health is urging people right now to get vaccinated. They say 15 cases have been reported just since August 1st. In fact, there have been 41 cases since January, but normally uh, we only have five to eight cases a year here in Cass County. The disease is highly contagious if you're not vaccinated. Remember, you can watch Hot Mike with Dom Izzo today from 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and Inform.com. He's got all the latest sports headlines and local sports stories for you as well. So be sure to do that. And get your Inform.com all access pass. Uh, you'll have all of your news, weather, sports headlines in one place. Mm -hmm. Great deal right now. 99 cents a month for your first three months. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe to check out that deal. And remember, join us for the rest of our newscast as well for updates on all of our breaking news this morning and weather that's ongoing as well. Our next newscast is at 11, then 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back with first news tomorrow morning from 5 to 7. Have a great day, everyone.